Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we got some Taylor Swift news to discuss. We have some very sad Taylor Swift news to discuss. We're also going to talk about her shows in Munich, the surprise song she did, uh, some other little things here and there. But unfortunately, have to start out the show with some with some sad news, which is that if you haven't seen on the news, there was a stabbing in Southport, England at a Taylor Swift themed dance class where three young children unfortunately passed away from their injuries. Absolutely devastating. And Taylor Swift released a statement um, sending her thoughts, her prayers, her love to the victims, the families involved. This is what Taylor said. The horror of yesterday's attack in Southport is watching over me continuously and I'm just completely in shock. The loss of life and innocence and the horrendous trauma inflicted on everyone who was there, the families, the first responders, these were just little kids at a dance class. Absolutely terrible. Obviously, I think Taylor Swift felt, she felt, um, well, I'm, I'm sure she was deeply impacted by it just in general, but also the fact that they were there for a a Taylor Swift themed class um, probably just was even more gut wrenching for her. And I just, so many of these artists and the things they have to deal with, I think about Taylor and the fan that passed away at her concert. Um, I think it was in Brazil um, due to the heat and, and, and all that stuff and the lack of water that happened late last year. Obviously these types of situations are not Taylor's fault, but there has to be so much just this weight that weighs on you when things like this happen, when people are gathering or doing something because they love you so much. That just has to be so difficult to go through and to deal with and to work through and ugh, like so painful and so, so tragic. Um, and it's really, really sad because as she said, those were just, they were just kids wanting to dance to some Taylor Swift. And it's really sad that something like that had to happen. Um, so I hope, obviously, all the families involved, you know, thinking of them. And then, of course, Taylor as well. This is not something you want to have to deal with while you're in the middle of a tour. And I think safety is such a priority for any artist that goes on on tour. They want to make sure that they're safe, obviously, but that their fans are safe. Because when you're in a big, huge venue with lots of people, like, you don't know what might happen. And so I have to imagine that she's feeling like, oh my gosh, I, I have this responsibility to keep these people safe and um, things like this don't make you feel better about those types of situations. So anyway, thoughts with everyone involved, really, 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 really sad and just terrible. But let's move on to some maybe better news, happier news, I don't know, which is the Munich shows that Taylor performed over the weekend. I don't know if anyone saw on social media, but where Taylor was performing, there was like a giant, almost like hillside right outside of the stadium. And so thousands, and I mean thousands of fans who couldn't get tickets or didn't have tickets for the show, lined up atop of this hillside. I mean, I don't think it was technically a mountain, but it was a very, very large hill that kind of, again, overlooked the stadium. So when you were in the stadium, and you looked out, you just saw, again, thousands of people lining up on this hillside trying to either get a, you know, trying to see the concert or at least hear the concert. I think I read, I don't know if this is actually true, so take it with a grain of salt, but I think I saw someone said that there were like 40,000 people outside uh, on that hillside that were overlooking the stadium. Again, not sure if that's true, but from the pictures I saw, it definitely looked like thousands of people. Not sure how many thousands, but there were a lot of them, which is just crazy. I mean, the power of Taylor Swift is unmatched. The fact that she could fill an entire stadium twice and then still have people who want to be involved um, camp out basically on this hill is crazy. But let's get to some of the surprise songs. So as I said, she did two nights in Munich. First night, she performs a mashup of Fresh Out the Slammer and You Are In Love. Excellent. Love it. Two songs I wouldn't necessarily put together. Those are my favorite mashups, honestly. In in a way, are the songs that you didn't you you wouldn't expect to be put together that end up working out somehow. Excellent. But this is really where I got very jealous. She then did a mashup of Ivy and call it what you want. Ivy is my favorite song off Evermore. 
It's one of my favorite Taylor songs ever. I love that song. Call It What You Want is, I think, one of the most underrated songs off of Reputation. So excellent. I 100% would have, I would have loved to have been there for those songs. Excellent. The second night, she did a mashup of I Don't Want to Live Forever, which is her song that she um, did with Zayn, and a mashup of I'm Gonna Get You Back uh, from TTPD. And then she did LOML and Don't You, which is a uh, vault track. Good surprise songs, but nothing, in my opinion, tops night one. Again, the Ivy, call it what you want. I would have ascended into a higher plane if I got to watch that because that would be so, so incredible. Um, Taylor is on the home stretch of her tour. She just has a few more weeks left, which is crazy. Um, and as, as we said before, she's going to end her show in London. And I, uh, especially after, what, again, what happened in England and just like, I feel like she's probably ready to wrap it up. Um, and to be done with the tour at least for a period of time and take a break because it just has to be obviously very physically exhausting but also very emotionally exhausting too and um, I bet she's wanting to not just be done with the tour for a bit but also like spend time with her friends and her family and Travis and just relax and breathe speaking of Travis Kelsey there was a funny I saw on social media some some fan I don't know if it was a Taylor fan or a Chiefs fan but they did a tour of Arrowhead Stadium which is where the Chiefs play and they got a tour of Travis Kelsey's suite so basically every I shouldn't say every player but the like kind of top like Patrick Mahomes Travis Kelsey they basically pay for a suite for the entire season so it's their suite where their friends and family can watch the game every single home home game and this fan took a picture inside or took a picture of Travis Kelsey's suite and said that there was a in inside the suite. There's an era's tour poster of Taylor Swift in Travis's suite, which I'm sure I think for a lot of these stadiums, they love to put posters up of like different musical artists who performed in that stadium and performed their concert in, in that stadium that you see that in every single stadium. And so I'm sure it was partially because of that because Taylor obviously performed in Kansas City. Um, but the fact that the poster was specifically in Travis's suite, definitely not by accident. Um, and again, I said this before, I just can't wait for Taylor back in her WAG era, Chiefs era. I just, that was just so fun last year. It was so fun. And I just can't wait to see her back and um, like what she's going to wear and just all the things and and now that we're prepared for it right because last season it was such a shock now that we know it's going to happen it's just going to be a lot of fun so I for one cannot wait for that first that first game Thursday night game against the Ravens everyone mark your calendar because <laughs> we will definitely be recapping that we'll be recapping the entire season let's be real um so it's going to be so much fun so that's that for today's show not a whole whole lot going on in the world of taylor swift again she's busy on tour travis is busy with his training camp but i'm sure in the coming you know weeks months as we get closer to football season there's going to be more to discuss more to break down so again if you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure you do that follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time bye